everyone. Here we are with Crispy in the Shire. What I want to do today is just do a run through of what you need to do to become a chicken. And I think I want to do it as kind of a speed run so that we don't uh, waste a lot of time reading all the um, all the text in the uh, in the quest. We just want to get through them quick to see how fast you can become a chicken in Latro. So Crispy is uh, starting out here near the milestone and what we're going to do is uh, start moving. <clears throat> I'm going to pretend that he's a brand new tune with no mount. He could ride but if you're a new tune, if you've just rolled a tune on a server to start chicken play, you might not have a mount yet. So we're just going to do some running around. Now, there's the stables. We're not going to the stables. We're in downtown Mickle Delving. And we have to get ourselves over to Sanson's farm. So we're going to run past Wenda here and uh, get onto the main road that goes out of town eastbound. And uh, over this way. So we have to get ourselves to Sanson's farm in order to start chicken play. And I'm, I'm hoping to touch on everything you need to know to become a chicken so that you can participate in chicken runs, which can be a lot of fun. So off we go to Sanson's farm. Now, uh, Crispy here. Crispy lives on almost every server so far. The only one he's not on yet, but he will be soon, is, um, well, I won't say in case somebody jumps in and grabs the name. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet about that. And uh, yeah, so Crispy is on almost every server. And so he can join in chicken runs on any server. Now, some of the, the servers he's, he's on, he's not run through the intro quest yet, but so he has to do that on all the servers. So this one we're on today is Evernight. Now, Crispy normally lives on Gladden, and Gladden is where we do our Monday night Crispy chicken runs. But um, I want Crispy to be on every server, so if other people organize chicken runs, then Crispy will be able to participate. So here we go. We're going to talk to Walt. Might I speak with you a moment? Oh. Which laid first? Okay, so in this quest, you get a little bunch of clues that tell you which order these chickens' nests have to be visited. So, I've done this before, so I kind of have it memorized. So we're going to go to Pimpinella first. And we're going to put an egg in her nest. And then we're going to run over to Bellflower. So sometimes when people are, when I'm helping people run through the intro crest, I'll just run from one nest to the other to show people which ones to go to. So they don't have to go to all the trouble of interpreting all the clues on that list. So, here we go. Tell time is next. And then our last chicken to visit is over here. Out for that rooster. And here we are at Moonlight's Nest. So, here's the last one. That should do. And then we're back to Wald. And we'll Hello. see how long is it. Oh, got I a have price a word with you. Now, poor Belina. We have to see what's wrong with Belina. Apparently yeah, she has problems. You can always pause the video and read all the text. And, uh, hang on a second. Did I accept that quest? Am I getting ahead of myself here? Might I speak with you a there moment? There we go. Gotta accept that quest. I'm trying to do too many things at once here. Okay, Belina. All right then. Now we're about to turn into chickens. This is session play. So we'll be in the real world with other tunes, other players, but we'll be chickens. So let's do that. Let's turn into a chicken. This one's a little bit weird. The first time you turn into a chicken, you don't end up in the same place that you started when you hit that play button. We don't turn into a chicken and end up standing in front of Bellina. We end up a couple fields away where we have to find some find some worms and piles of dirt to help Bellina out. So this is our mission. 
is to collect earthworms for Bellina. So we scratch in the dirt, see if we find some worms. Got nothing there. Still got zero. It's kind of hard to read that. Let me just fix my quest tracker. Oh, come on over here. That's better. All right, now I can read this better. Still have zero earthworms. Boy, oh boy. Let's get on this and find some earthworms for that poor chicken. So, Crispy. If you meet Crispy in the world and you click on his to inspect him, um, if you inspect Crispy on Gladden, you can see the awesome chicken outfit that he wears most of the time. Um, but on other servers, he's not so well dressed because he hasn't been around long enough to collect all the cool gear. But uh, one thing you can see on any server when you look at Crispy is his bio, which tells you about his uh, family's background, raising chickens, and oh dear. Let's just get away from that scary wolf. So the Crispy, Crispy and his family, the chicken family, they came by their name honestly because raising chickens is what they've done for countless generations. So, and there's a story about how is it that Crispy to be involved in this whole chicken play thing. Well, if you check out his bio, you'll see a story of how this all came to be. Some chickens in the chicken clan um, have what they call itchy feet. When you have itchy feet, you just have to go and roam the world. Oh, look, I've got my four earthworms. Now I can head back to Bellina and give them to her and try not to get eaten on the way. Try not to get gored by a wild tusker or eaten by a snarling wolf. So, watch out for those mobs when you're doing the very first chicken quest. But once you get your worms, head back to Bellina. And then when we're on our, our next quest, I'll tell you some more of Crispy's story. All right, here's Belena. Let's give her some worms. There we go. Finish that up. Oh, I'm going to get logged out. So, now that we're back to Sanson's farm, you look here. You were not far away when you were collecting all the worms. So, if you're helping another toon get through the intro quests, you have to gallop away from Sanson's farm over to the east to find where the new baby chickens will spawn. And if you go to the map, so here we are at Sanson's farm. Over here is where we were collecting those worms, just so you know. Okay, so back we go. Let's go talk to Wald again. Yo, Hello. Wald. So Bellina was just hungry for worms. Oh, well, here we go. Gotta finish that Might quest. Might I speak with you a moment? Still looks upset. Oh, it didn't work. So we have to go examine Bellina again. Well, now what? Let's go see. Then we turn into a chicken again. And then we talk to Bellina and see what's up with her. See, this time we turned into a chicken and we're in the same place. We didn't get transported over into the fields to look at for earthworms. So this is easy. Okay, the sky is falling is the next quest in the series. You can pause it and look at all the text if you want to. But I'm just, I've read it before, so I'm just going to move along. We need to go and visit some chicken coops and talk to other chickens. That is the mission today. So let's go do that. And our chicken skills, which we haven't looked at in much detail yet. One good one here is foul fleetness. We're going to use foul fleetness to move a little faster and try and head over to where 
our quest arrow is pointing us. We like our quest arrows. Oh, look out for mobs, though. Yikes. We're heading for Brownlock's, Dora Brownlock's farm. We know where that is over here. Oh, come on. Oh, the leg! Oh my goodness! Jump that hedge already! Oh, it's because of foul fleetness. I should have jumped earlier. That's probably it. Trying to go too fast. And now I'm slowing down again. So you got a two minutes from one cycle to the next. Um, is it two minutes? So 30 seconds you get to run really fast as a chicken. And then for a minute and a half, you're on cool down. Ooh, there's somebody else at the farm. Well, it's nice. If they're killing all the wolves, yay, because it makes it easier for me to get to see the other chickens. So I need to get over here. I'm just going to go the scenic route, take the long way around. I'm not going to go dashing right through the middle of the farm where all those nasty, scary wolves are. I want to get over here. And you see where the chicken is? It's not by the chicken coop. No, it's up on the roof. Hiding here up on the roof. So let's go talk to Dora's chicken. There we go. Wolves. Of course I've seen wolves. Look at them. They're everywhere, right? So, off we go. Way meat. Talk about way meat. Okay, so now the next part of the quest says visit maggot scoop and cotton scoop. Okay, so the closest one is going to be the cotton scoop. The farm, the cotton farm, where Rosie Cotton lives with her family. That's where our quest arrow will be taking us. And it's sort of on the road. They're heading past Hobbiton. Sort of just the other side of Byward. Um, let's see, Bywater. So we've got to go over towards Hobbiton Bywater and it's going to be Hobbiton and Bywater are on the left side of the main road. We're going to be looking for the cotton farm on the right side of the main road. And so yeah, so Crispy, Crispy was walking in the woods one day and he met a stranger, a strange old man. He was dressed all in grey. His, his outfit looked a bit like that, that wizard Gandalf that brings the fireworks around to the Shire now and then, right? But this stranger was not Gandalf. And when Crispy introduced himself to this stranger, the man laughed and laughed at the name Crispy Chicken. Oh, he just thought that was funny. And Crispy thought that was quite rude, the way he laughed. But then the man said, oh, you must share some, you know, just... Just pull in your leg, basically, he said, and, and share some lunch and, and, well, you know, to offer a nice lunch there. He was had a nice pot of coney stew on, so Crispy accepted his apology of food and uh, and had some, some coney stew with mushrooms in it, apparently. That's what I'm hearing. That's the story I've been told here. So here we go. We talked to this chicken, and now we're off to Maggot's Farm. We're going to go this way. So, Crispy had this stew, and the stew had some mushrooms in it. And he thought nothing of it at the time. He loves mushroom as any hobbit would. But after he'd eaten the stew, that's when the weird things began to happen. Like sleepwalking. Alright? So, Crispy would have these terrible nightmares. And he'd dream he was a helpless chicken running all over Middle Earth and being pounced on by hungry predators and horrible things were happening to him in his nightmares. And he had no idea uh, what to do about that. And to this day, he's still having these nightmares. He hasn't gotten over it. He doesn't know how to make them stop. And I mean, he'll wake up tired and grubby and he had one dream one time he dreamed about Evendim and he, he woke up soaking wet. So that's Crispy's story. So Crispy has to travel all over Middle Earth. And he's hoping one day he'll meet a powerful wizard who can break this terrible spell that haunts him. So that's Crispy's uh, story. Now you know what Crispy's all about. So 
He didn't mean to become a chicken. It just kind of happened. So, and that's that's how it's going. So crispy here. We're on our way. We're going to stay off that road there because there's all these bandit knave types that are going to be dangerous for chickens. You don't want to end up there lunch. So you just sort of run around that bit. And now we can just run down the road to uh, Maggot's Farm and talk to the chickens in Farmer Maggot's Coop. So, it doesn't take very long. I should turn on some foul fleetness here when I think of it. Just so you know. So, if you're going through an area where there's dangerous critters that might eat you, you might want to just go regular speed until someone, in case somebody takes notice of you, then you can turn on foul fleetness and outrun most of them. Past the noisy waterfall. Fortunately, that was a nosy hobbit and not a hungry hobbit. You might have been worried otherwise. And away we go down the road. And now our foul fleetness is on cooldowns. Cooldown, so we've got to wait for that to uh, become available again. But we'll probably be there by the time the cooldown ends. So let's just run up to uh, Farmer Maggot's farm. Go we'll visit his chickens. And so this is the second of the three intro chicken play quests. And it doesn't really take very long to do. I think we had an hour from start to finish. And we're not even 10 minutes into it yet. So here we are. And finish that. We'll be logged off in a few seconds and we will end up right back in the Sanson's farmyard. And away we go. So that's two out of three of the intro quests that are done now. And let's just see about that last one. The last one is similar. It's again, it's running around the Shire, making a few more stops this time, I think. Let's go talk to Wald and he'll tell us all about it here. Hello. Ah, looks much calmer. Did you see an odd rooster? I thought I saw one, but I never got a good look. Oh. Could I take a moment of your time? George started out all queer. Okay, not sure what has gotten into my dad's chickens. All right then, go. Let's go check out George. George hangs out right beside Belina over here. So George, what's up, dude? We'll figure out what's wrong with George and what we need to do to make him happy. And here we go. You can play. Okay, so we need to talk to the creatures of the Shire. That's the mission. Let's just get right into it then. Alright, so our quest arrow is our friend. It's hiding there. And assigned a waymate. So, but what we need to do is follow that arrow. Now, if you look at the, the wiki, you will learn which creatures you're going to have to go and visit. I think the first one this arrow will take us to is Old Sally. And if you've quested in the Shire, you know she hangs out by Old Man Willow near Tuckboro. So we've got to get all the way over there. So Now sometimes when you're running around as a solo chicken, you want to zoom all the way out so you can see scary critters that might be... Uh, in your path, but the mini map is also very much your best friend. And in fact, often when I'm running around as a chicken, I will be looking at the mini map alone. If I'm in an area where there are scattered mobs, I'll be threading the needle, trying to find the pathway that's right in between two mobs so that I can be as far away from both of them simultaneously as possible. That's the idea. Stay away from the mobs. You are a level one chicken. You do not have armor. You do not have weapons. You 
don't have, you know, sure you've got a beak and some claws, but there is no skill on your skill bar that lets you use that beak or those claws to attack another critter. So, all you can do is run away, basically. You have a skill called Bob and Weave, um, but it's not really going to save you if you're up against something that's a much higher level than you. Um, your skill, Possum Impersonation, is much more helpful, especially if you are running when you hit it. Because if you're running when you hit it, it doesn't make you play dead, and it doesn't go on cooldown. But it will make the critters that are after you um, cease and desist and leave you alone. So it's a very helpful skill. And it's helpful to know that you can avoid the cooldown just by being by running when you hit that button. Okay. The other skill, Paranoia, is helpful on one of the flying the coop quests you're going to do later. You don't really need it in the Shire. We don't have stealthy critters in the Shire like the uh, the moor prowlers on the high moor. Okay, so here we've got Tuskers. I just want to go around them, give them a wide berth. I don't want to cause any trouble here. There we go. And now we chat with old Sally and continue our quest. And now we've got a new arrow to follow. So let's do that. Let's go around all these very big critters here. We don't want to get too close to the Tuskers or the Hill Bears. We're just going to run in. Let's just run a little faster. Oh. Look on the mini-map. Watch out for all those scary critters. Gotta get back to the road here. Aha! Here's the road. Watch out for those brigands on the road. So I'm just going to dash right off the road before we get to that little pond that the road loops around. Kind of a shortcut this way anyway. And we just run along beside the road so we don't need to worry about brigands. And our next critter we're going to talk to is... Not far from here. We're getting closer. Aha, uh -huh, I see a quest string over a fox. So, go talk to Mr. Fox. And read that at your leisure. Let's carry on. We're on a speed run here. The first time you do these quests, you should take your time and read all the text. But, uh,. If you're just rolling a tune on another server, oh dear, there's a brigand there. Yikes. All right, where is he going? Get off the bridge. I want to cross the bridge. i to wait for that nasty guy. Leave now. Off you go. And off I go. Yay. You see, somebody like that nasty brigand knave. Not your friend. Do not want to get into a, an altercation with somebody like that. All right, then. Off we go. So, when you're playing as a chicken, if you type something into chat, the only people who will read that are other chickens. If you type into chat, you cannot contact anyone in world chat. They will not see you. If you hit say whatever, you might get bubble over your head. But nobody can hear what chickens say. Not in English, anyway. They might see bok bok type stuff in the uh, over your in your chat bubble over your head. But that's about it. So, chatting with other chickens. Um, the way Crispy Chicken likes to keep in touch with his fellow chickens and his escorts is Discord. And what we use is the Lore Seekers public voice Discord channel. You don't need to join the kin to use this. Um, anyone can use our public voice Discord. Um, but it's also possible to join the Lore Seekers if you want to, if you're a new player and you want a kin that can help you out, uh, you know, give you some help to get... get uh, to find your way around in the game at first, then that's fine. So, we welcome new players, returning players, 
And we're a very casual kin, so if you're into like end end game raiding type stuff, that's that's not really uh we might not be the best kin for you, but hey. Oh back to this. Hey wolf, stop. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. He talked to me. Let's go talk to the other dogs. Got Grip here and Fang. Have a little chat with you. Read it at your leisure. And off we go to Fang. And now Again, it's about the same length of time to get from one end of the Shire to the other. And back we go. We have done the three intro chicken quests. And now we are ready to move on to the next level of chicken questing, which is the Flying the Coop quest series. So it's a series of about half a dozen quests that take you further afield from the Shire. Here we go. Oh, there's someone here. Now I gotta talk to Wald. What do you need? Finish up now. Completed flying the coop. Yay! Alright, so now that we've done that. George, you've got a quest ring. Look at this. I can do all these flying the coop quests. So now those are a possibility. And uh, when you do all those, that's when you win the Cloak of the Cluck for completing this whole series of quests. So that's the plan. Okay then, so our mission has been accomplished here. We'll just accept one of those. And uh, yeah, so that's how you become a chicken. That's how you become a chicken in the Shire at Sanson's Farm. You do these quests. Now there's another guy over there, Farmer Sanson. He can give you quests to carry eggs around the Shire. You don't need to do any of his quests in order to become a chicken. All right. So it's just the, the quest with Walt that need to be done. And now we've done that and we're finished. And uh, it didn't take that long. Now we're ready for any of the Flying the Coop quests. So this is the intro quest that you need to do before you join join in um, one of the Monday night Flying the Coop chicken runs. Now you know. All right. Then.